So about an hour ago, I posted a poll asking can Frieza become good, and 92% of you with all of the combined answers basically said no, in the nicest words possible. So I decided, why don't I do a quick video to respond to many of the things that you guys are saying, and talk about whether or not Frieza can actually realistically become a good guy in the Dragon Ball universe. And this is more of a podcast style video where I just kind of talk more freely. So let's get the party started. So here's the thing, guys. When you break everything down, right, I can understand a lot of the points that some of you were making and arguing for yes. That Frieza could become a good guy because when you think about it, Dragon Ball is all about converting bad guys to good guys. And if you go from the very beginning of the series, I mean, you could go to a character like Tien, Tenshin Han, you can go into Piccolo Jr. specifically, Piccolo Jr. You can go into, you know, Vegeta, who was the worst out of himself and Nappa and Raditz. And then you could also look at another character that we also had, Majin Buu. Now, Majin Buu was more childlike, so it was easier to convince him to become a good guy as compared to more intelligent characters. But throughout Dragon Ball history, and this isn't even counting the androids in 17 and 18, we have a long history of characters that have become good who were originally evil. But when you think about it, Frieza is a totally different type of evil than what the other characters are. And I think because of the unfortunate things that happened to Frieza, him dying numerous times, I mean... You know, throughout Dragon Ball history, and even more so if you count the movies. I think the level of built-up hatred that Frieza has for our cast of characters is so great that I don't think he could ever fully be a good guy, right? I think it's pretty much impossible because when we break it down and we look at the characters like the androids, for example, the future androids were very different from the present androids. And I can do a whole video in the future going more in depth as to why, but Android 16 had an impact on them becoming good. And then when you also factor in that the future androids lived in a world where Goku was already dead and they literally had nothing to do. They were basically on this planet that they could have easily have destroyed every human on the planet if they felt like it in the first day, but they intentionally dragged out their carnage over the course of years to entertain themselves. It's basically like you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you have all of the cheat codes on. Nobody can really hurt you because you basically have God Mode on, so basically the only thing you can do is just terrorize people because no one can really hurt you. I think that when you compare that to a character like Frieza though, he has legitimate reasons to be evil and his ego is way too high for him to ever be a part of the clique or be a part of the group or to be like an ally. Because when you look at the Tournament of Power, like, Frieza became a good guy because it was out of necessity. You know what I mean? Because he was going to be erased, which is even worse than death, even though you could argue it would actually be good for Frieza because he was basically being tortured for an eternity by a bunch of fairies and angels and teddy bears and stuff. But, I mean, depending on what you want to consider better life or death, I mean, Frieza basically took the opportunity uh, in the Tournament of Power. He preserved himself and Beerus rewarded him with a new life. So, it worked out for him. And he was a great ally, but it was one of those things where it's like, extinction is worse than teaming up with you. And I think when you when, when you look at it from that perspective, Frieza was basically just, you know, being an opportunist. But the biggest evidence that Frieza was still evil was in the very next thing that we saw, Dragon Ball Super Broly, at least for his continuation. He basically tries to ravage the Earth again by bringing Broly and making him do the dirty work. So... Right then and there, I think Dragon Ball Super Broly is proof that Frieza was never a good guy, and I just don't see any plot scenario where Frieza could ever become good. And this leads us directly into more modern Dragon Ball, where we're now going to talk a little bit more about the character of Granola. Now, when we look at the character of Granola, I, I think, in my heart of hearts, that even though the arc's not over, there's going to be something resolved, because Granola had a vendetta to kill Frieza, right? So, when you factor in that Granola wants to kill Frieza, Frieza still exists in the universe, the heaters are also indirectly connected to Frieza, 
It's one of those things where it's like Frieza's being built up as an antagonist again. So it doesn't... Like, I can't see a scenario where Frieza would all of a sudden just shift and have a reason to be good. Unless there was like a second tournament of power and he was re-recruited. But if there was a second tournament of power, depending on who Universe 7 could have as a new potential ally like Broly or Granola, it would actually probably be best to keep Frieza as a dead guy. Or, if you just want to have the best guys possible, you can re-recruit Freeze again, but it wouldn't even be necessary if Broly and Granola are going to be alive. Now, granted, Granola is on a time limit because, obviously, he shortened his lifespan in order to do this, but ultimately, I think when you break it down like that, it, it just doesn't seem realistic because Granola's still around who directly wants to kill Frieza, so there's a target on his back. And when you're the Emperor of the Universe, there are a lot of people out there who want to take you down. You know, especially just the mere fact that Frieza existing as the Emperor of the Universe itself is basically enough for you to consider Frieza still a villain. I mean, just the nature of what he does, I'm trying to rule the universe, or the galaxy, or whichever, however you want to divide the subsets of the universe, that alone is enough to basically just say Frieza can't be good, because his aspirations and what he does for a living in the universe is inherently evil. He's basically a universal land shark, which is essentially what he was basically based on. So, honestly, when you think of it all like that, I think the biggest reason of all guys why Frieza can never be a good guy is, he's Frieza. And I think... When, when you look at it from a marketing point of view and, and you step outside the box of the actual Dragon Ball story and you look at it more from a business perspective, right? And what a business would want to do with Frieza's character, Frieza exists solely to be marketed as a villain. Granted, the whole Tournament of Power thing was a cool thing and bizarre thing to do for like that one occasion, but marketing wise to keep Frieza around as like a universal ally like Goku's like hey Frieza we really need help to fight this guy can you can he come join us like that that just wouldn't make sense like it, if you just look at the color schemes and the way that Frieza's designed you know like just look at Frieza for crying out loud just look at him like he's designed as a villain like, what kind of guy could look like Frieza and be a heart-loving soul? I mean, granted, there was that whole Frost thing where people thought that Frost was a good guy. <laughs> and he ended up being evil, you know. But, I mean, compared to a character like Cell, Cell also had a huge ego on his own, you know. He basically wanted to test himself in his own power. So, you know, Cell was basically his own destruction in a lot of ways, which we could talk more in a future video on itself. But, honestly, guys, at the end of the day... With everything said, I just can't see Frieza becoming a good guy. I, I just can't see it because it's just not who he is. And I'm sure some of you can make some great arguments in the comment section below, which is why I decided to make a quick video about this. But I can't see Frieza being a good guy. But you know what? Maybe you can convince me in the comment section below. <laughs>